Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about the playwright UI mode. So let's begin. With the playwright UI mode you can explore, run, debug your test with the time travel experience complete with your watch mode. So now what you will have options in your UI mode, what you can do with the UI mode here. So basically you can filter your test, you can run your test, you can view the test traces you can see the actions, metadata, you can also see the source, console, log, network, attachments, DOM, timeline view, pick locator and watch mode. So this interface is pretty much similar to the trace viewer. So but besides that trace viewer, you will have a different options here. You can run your test, you can filter the data and the best part is the watch mode. So now let's go to the Visual Studio code and see these options practically and how it works in visual studio code if you want to open the ui mode so simply what you need to do is that from the terminal you need to type command called npx playwright test dash dash ui and press enter so it will open a ui for us and we will see that we have a different options available here so this is a complete ui here and here we have a different options so if i go back to my presentation here so you will see that we talked about that we have a filtering test option we can run our test we can uh, run the we can see our test traces action metadata and so on so let's explore these options one by one here and here on the left top what you can do is that you can toggle between a dark and light mode here Okay, so if you click on this one, it will change into a dark or a light mode accordingly. Then if you want to reload this interface, just click on this one. So you see all your tests appear here and they got reloaded. And if you click on this toggle output, it will show the output of your execution here. So right now we haven't executed any tests, so we are not seeing anything here right now. And here uh, you can filter based on the text. We can also filter based browser pass fail and so on so before we actually filter these ones let's run these tests and from here you can run all you can stop you can watch all then you can collapse all right and if you want to run the single one you can run the single one and simply if you want to open this in the vs code you can click on this one and it will open in the vs code and then we have a watch option so we'll uh, learn about these options very soon in this tutorial. So let me run all these tests first here from here in the UI mode. Previously, what we were doing is that we were executing through the command line. We were using the different commands in order to execute our test. But right now, we are using this Playwright UI mode in order to run our test. So I have already made some changes in my test so that we face some failures. And here, you saw that our first two tests got failed and here in the log section because this log section is open here if i click again on this one so you will see that we are getting the complete logs and we are getting why our test is failing where our test is failing and what is the timeout so all the details you will get here in the output so it's, it's basically a console here you can clear the logs from here and rerun again okay and here you see that we got these failures so if i click on uh, this one let me close this one so here you will see the actions the step by step just like in the trace viewer we have a metadata then we have a pick locator we have action before and after just like a trace viewer we have a timeline here just like we have in the trace viewer so if you haven't seen my trace viewer video just go and check out this one because these options are already covered in this particular tutorial however let's see here now i want to filter my test based on which ones are failed and which ones are specific to the chromium here so let me click on the failed ones so now you see that i am getting only the test cases which got failed here if i click on this one so i will get the test cases from here similarly if i want to you know filter using the text so what i will say is that for example let me for example so here based on the text we have filtered over test here right and we haven't learned about the text as of now but whenever uh, we will cover those so you can you know filter your test using the text as well now 
uh, you can run the individual test again here you can open the code here and the beauty of uh, this ui mode is that now we saw that our two test is not failed we got the source here we got the console here we got the network calls made we got the attachments and ties and all the things right so in the source it says that you yeah, had this test case got failed here and then you had this test case got failed here right so over these test cases are failed now and if i click on this watch so what happens is that whenever i make any changes in my code it will automatically start the execution here so i have uh, you know uh, select this one and now what i'll do is that because my this test case got failed let me select the failed one here and i have marked it as a watched here now so what i'll do is that simply i will click on this one it will open this code in my vs studio so here my test is open and i have intentionally failed this test because the title of this page is orange hrm not orange hrm 123 so what i'll do is that i will make these changes and just save this one so as soon as i save this one you will see that the execution started again and you know and you will see the changes here so now it's got passed because it's not no more showing in the field section right so it's, it's definitely passed now right and similarly let me go to the field once again here and here uh, this is my failed one so let me open this test from here in my vg studio code and here uh, what i did is that let me go here so here basically we have basically intro in our url so as soon as you go here and click on anything so you will see that we got the intro here so let me show you this one and so that you can understand in a better way so let me uh, open the browser here and here in the browser we need to open the playwright website so let me search for play right here and here click on this one and here if we click on the docs here so it says that playwright slash slash doc slash intro so basically your url has this keyboard so we are matching this one here with this one okay so that's why here it should be intro but i'm matching it with the intro one two three that's why it's got failed so let me save this one here and now you will see that but here again because i was not watching this one that's why it didn't get executed but if you were watching this one so it will automatically execute so it will really helpful in your you know in dubbing in debugging your test in you know executing your test fixing your test optimizing your test here so let me execute it manually from here because i want to run this single test again because i believe that i have fixed this one and see that the failed one was removed from here because now it got passed here okay and again here we have a different option call network attachment all this information and just like a trace viewer you have your pick locator here so for example you are on this particular page here and here on this page you want you are getting some locator failure right so go to this just pick locator here and for example if you want to click on running the tests you want a locator of this right so just click on this one and here click on this one so here you will get the locator you can copy the locator from here and directly use in your test furthermore uh, what we can do is that if our test is failing we can also you know click on this one to open a snapshot in a new tab so this is a new tab here and here if we want to you know right click on this one go to inspect and you can use uh, you know developer tools you can write your xpath you can locate your element so you can do whatever as for from your requirement based on the your network from your network settings here okay so this is, this is a one a good option here and again uh, you have action before and after duration your browser 
your viewport so we haven't covered the viewport yet but viewport is basically is the size of your screen so what is the width of your screen what was your height so when we actually doing the compatibility testing in terms of you know a different screen sizes so we would be using the viewport and we will be executing our test on different viewports so here the viewport is uh, pretty much similar uh, to what we have done in our Cypress. In Cypress, we have a viewport as well where you can define the different screen resolutions and you can run your test or over there. And now, if I go back here and let me go to the log here again, so you will you you will find the log here, right? So log will only appear when there is a failure, right? So you can clear the log, you can rerun or you can reload this one so I can let me reload this one so if you have added one more test from the Visual Studio Code and if this is not appearing here so you just go here and reload this one so here you can filter you can run your test this is a watch option and you can open your test from the Visual Studio Code so all of these are basically done through this UI mode so you can filter test you can run you, you can do the traces actions you can see the metadata you can see the source you can pop out the, and inspect the DOM just like we did you can see the timeline you can work with the pick locator you can use a watch mode so this watch mode was basically very helpful when you are working and debugging because just like if you are watching some test you can watch all right you can click on watch all or simply you can go with the one which are failing so usually when you're working as an automation engineer you need to go and check for the ones which are actually failing and that's why you are making some changes then you are checking again then you are making some changes to make sure that your script is working as per your requirement thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial